we have to make programs like this. We have to take initiatives. In, in your mind, what is it or which, which several lists of causes um, are the ones that result in the fact that if we don't proactively do something about this, it doesn't happen on its own, basically. Oh, what a good question. Um, you know, from my experience, from what I have heard from other journalists of color and what I see with the students that I work with, um, there's actually some really tangible reasons why, why students of color don't pursue, pursue journalism. You know, one of which is there's a lot of pressure in certain communities to pursue high paying work and journalism is just not seen as a high paid profession. And, and let's be honest, in many instances, it's not. People go into this work because they love it, not because they want to get rich. And so if you're coming from maybe a first generation family that you know is investing heavily in your education, there, there might be some economic pressure to pursue something a little bit more stable. Um, I think there's also this perception that journalism as a field is just dying. It's not real, um, which is not true. It's changing, it's not dying. Um, I think there's also just a problem of you can't be what you can't see. And so when you don't have these role models, uh, it's hard to envision yourself in that space. I will say trail, blazing a trail is exhausting. And it's not always <laughs> something somebody wants to do when they are, you know, thinking about their lives and their futures. Um, and, and then, you know, the, I think the final piece of it is that many newsrooms just haven't necessarily been welcoming environments for people who are bringing a different point of view to the table. Um, so I, I could say personally, in my experience, um, you know, when I was coming into this profession, my background as a, as a Black woman, my identity as a Black woman was something that I had to sit on a shelf and um, sort of ignore while I was at work. Um, and so I think if we could start changing the culture in newsrooms where journalists know that their perspectives, their backgrounds, their identities, whatever they may be, are welcome, that they make the end product better. I think when we, if we could get to that place, that's going to make a big difference too.